Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be checking out a dream address for my buddy Shiba. Shiba City Shop is a friend of mine who I've been following for a long time on Instagram, and he finally posted his dream address, so I'm so excited to check it out. As most of you know, I started a second island recently, so I've been checking out a couple of dream addresses to use as inspiration for my second island. So this video is going to be the first of a series that I do exploring dream addresses to get inspiration for my new island. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it. And here, obviously, is Shiba's dream address. Address. So if you want to check out this island for yourself, here is the code for you. And I'm going to leave it in the description below as well. All right, Luna, take us there. Dream address you provided a pair to be for an island called Shizuka. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Let's go. All right, landed at Shizuka now. So if we hop up out of here, let's see. Let's go over to the airport to start. Because if we were flying in, you know, we'd start at the airport. Oh, if I can even find it. Okay, so it looks like this way is the airport and it looks like Shiba has actually dropped some clothes for us. So let's go ahead and grab some of this. Looks like he left a diving suit as well. Some shades, some tools, some socks. Okay, let's check out this outfit that he's put together for us. Torn pants, great. Terry cloth do rag, Nook ink backpack, a bandage, love that, some wave print socks. Okay, so no shirt and no uh, shoes that he gave us, but I think that's because Shiva actually runs around without a shirt option, like the tank top. So the airport's right down here, so let's go down here. Okay, so here we are at his airport. So if we were to start out, let's just go ahead and give a quick look to the map. So looks like a lot of cats on this island. He has Punchy, Kabuki, Snake, the rabbits here, Rosie, Lolly, Stinky, Raymond, the infamous Raymond, Coco, Anka, and Poppy. So a lot of cats and a couple other really cool villagers sprinkled in as well. Look at this map. Look at how brown it is. It's just covered in pathing. So this is gonna be pretty cool to check out. So let's go ahead and head on up. So if I were to hang a right, this is past where the resident services is, but let's just go straight. This looks like a pretty cool path to travel down. Whose house do we have here? Snake's house. Looking really cool with this bamboo here with the stone lion dogs. This is major inspiration for my second island for sure. I really like this walk up way. I love how the house is square with this area. Okay, so moving on from Snake's house. Let's go over here. It looks like there's a bridge. I'll go left real quick. Looks like there's another bridge this way. Okay, I'm just gonna take this bridge over here. So whose house do we have here? We have Poppy's houses over here. Looks like there's another house down over here. This is Rosie's house, cool. So a little residential area. I love, I love this little alleyway here with the steps. Such a great photo op right here. So let's head on through this alley. Looks like there's a rooftop spot up there. Oh, I think he dropped us. Yeah, we have a ladder here. Let's take this ladder up. Oh, there's Raymond over to the right side. We'll come back and say hi to him later. Wait, is there a way to get up to this? Yep, so up here, look at these bunk beds used as kind of like a fence. This is really a great rooftop. These rooftop codes are so good too. I love the mixed use of them. And then with the bunk beds, he even customized them to have the roofing as well. Then we can sit over in this couch right here. Let's see if there's a, I'm sure there's a pretty cool view here. Yeah, look at that, wow. Wow. It's like a different take on like a skyline almost. It really does give me this like abandoned shanty town kind of feel over here. Really nailed the, the look that he described. And look closely over there. Do you see those desktop computers? But with the custom code, it makes it so it looks like windows. So it's like they're apartment buildings. That's super creative. And then using the telephone booths as well to look like windows to an apartment building. All right, let's head back on down. So look at this, using stalls, and that's the table with the cloth. So it's like shipping containers up there. What an insanely creative way to create this like shipping container look. I feel like I wanna do something similar on my island, like maybe near the beaches and near the dock. Okay, headed back down. Whose house is this? Another Japanese house. Coco's house, Coco has such a cool house. Look at the color of these steps match so perfectly with this flooring. Okay, so I'm back at the shipping container area. And then over here is, oh, there's the museum. 
kind of locked away, but looks like this old like warehouse. This is so sick. One time on a stream, I called an island construction core because it was really construction inspired. And I feel like this is really in line with that. Very construction core. Okay, moving on from here. So there's a little street market. You can order some food, watch the news. And then over this way, Oh, a nice little neon skyline. I love this because it feels very dystopian future-esque. <laughs> Look at this, even the Mad Max sign. Very dystopian future. I love that, that fits so perfectly here. And look at the bar design right there in the middle. That's on one of the Rattan lamps, I think. So it literally looks like a neon sign because of how it's lit up. That's crazy. Another house tucked away here. Oh, there's Sheba up there. What's up? Ignorance is strength. There you go, wise words. Okay, so another like sitting area, I think. Yep. Oh, oh, it's using the rings, like the boxing ring. This is such a great view here. That's a great photo. I love the little details here, even like the newspapers on the scattered papers here, but also this kind of like missing persons newspaper right here on the ground. Let's go over this way. Oh, look at this like divide in the town. I remember seeing this posted on his Instagram. So it's like an earthquake like shattered through here. So you see how like the road breaks up? That's such a cool idea. Look at the kimono stands with the newspapers. This all adds just to this dystopian future look. So many small details that just bring to life this entire area. Looks like we have a street market alleyway through here. So dense, I love it. Sucks that we have this item lag, but look at these little alleyways filled with snack machines and vending machines, a little sitting area. Okay, so this is where I came from originally. Love this sidewalk path a lot actually too. Okay, looks like we have a little bit of a river walk here. Let's go down here, have another house. I think this is Sheba's house over here. And then who do we have over here is Kabuki's house. Very nice. Fits so well in this spot. Looks like there's another rooftop hangout area over here. Wow, this view. I think this is my favorite view so far. Look at that. I love this. I love the density. This view is just so good, Shiba. Oh my goodness. It just really has that dystopian shanty town slash like slums vibe so down packed. I don't know if I want to make my second island super dense like I did on my main island, but this would be a really good inspiration for it. Okay, making my way through all of these alleys. All right, down at the beaches now. Looks like there's another alley over here. There's just so many alleys. Okay, back at his house from here. Let's see. Oh, little tropical area now. Look at Brewster over there. <laughs> Brewster's little tropical cafe and over here. I really love this. It's like tropical, but still futuristic because there's the antenna up there. Okay, I want to make sure I hit everything. So let me just keep on going back past the, the crack in the earth's head this way. Okay. Have another house over here. Can't tell whose house that is. Okay, back on these rooftops. Okay, so we're kind of on a rooftop here. It's like a rooftop fishing spot. Yeah, I've seen him post photos from over here where he fishes from right here. This is such a good fishing spot. Let's climb up, see what we got over here. Oh, can't go that way. All right, so there was the tropical bar area. All right. I love how walkable this is. All of these rooftops, you can just hop on. Okay, there's still a chunk on the upper right-hand side of the map I haven't seen yet. Okay, I think we're over here now. Oh, I've seen this before. The Gundam construction area is what I've seen him call it before. Yes, look at that. And then the eyes, yes, love that. As I've mentioned before, I've been really into building Gundams and the plastic models. There's some behind me right there. So seeing this like Gundam hanger back here is so crazy. I feel like we have to be shocked. It's a great photo op there. Love the flooring, love the rooftop design. This is such a good example of going really hard on your theme. The whole entire island just fits this theme of a dystopian shanty town so well. And I can tell a ton of hard work went into making sure this all felt really cohesive. So great job, Sheba. I hope I didn't miss anything. And just to double check, let's see if he has some codes for any of these things on here. Wow, so it looks like Sheba has actually designed some of the custom flooring himself. So if you want these road designs, the sidewalks, 
uh, the window frame that was on the laptop, and then even some of these roofings, they're all on here. So I'll leave this code in the description below, but also make sure to check out this island for yourself so you can really easily grab some of these codes. So that about does it for this video. I hope you got some inspiration out of this because I definitely did. Again, make sure to check out Shiba's dream address and also be sure to follow him on IG as well. Once again, thanks for watching. Glad to have you here. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It would really go a long way in helping out this channel. And I'll see you in the next one.